Hey, what's up guys? It is DJ. Today we're going to take a look at all of the container mods that have been released so far and take a look at maybe some that are going to be released in the future. Since we've got so many different ones that are already out, you could pretty much run an entire operation just on the equipment that we have. And yeah, this is kind of one piece of each of them, but there's a lot to show off. All of the mods in the container list are thanks to three modders. We have Hispano Modding, 82 Studio, and Kenny456. Currently, we've got two ways to transport these. We've got the Lizard Cranes from Hispano Modding, and the absolutely massive Lieber SC350T from Kenny456. We've also got two different trailers to pull these, well, two mods anyway. We have the Tippy Container Trailer Bag, which will do uh, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and 45 foot trailers. And we have the recently released Load King Containers Super B. These are available in regular trailers and tipping trailers. And you can make an entire road train out of these. It's really cool. We also have four different types of containers. We have the green containers, which will hold all standard bulk crops. We've got the tank containers, which hold all your standard liquids. They'll even handle the oils, which is really cool. We, of course, have standard containers where you guys can load things inside, use straps, or even auto load in and have unrealistic auto load, which is super cool. And as you can see at the bottom, it auto loads a lot of stuff. And we have the flat rack containers, which also do auto loading, but you can put other things on here like logs, things like that. Makes it a little bit easier to load from above. There are also Titan versions of each and every single one of these container sets as well. And these are a little bit different because, well, they just have different <laughs> logos on them, more or less. All of these are, of course, not allowed on consoles, but you don't have to worry. All the specs are exactly the same. Container mods offer a very different way to do things. Whether you're wanting to load things in from the side and use an actual container, maybe you want to carry things around, maybe you want to put a field bin on the side of a field. Well, you could do that with one of these tipper containers and then just come and pick it up later and put it on a trailer and haul it off. Uh, as you can see here, I've also built a road train, so that's cool. Or if you want to do a little role play, like you're in a, a train yard or maybe something like that, well, you can use one of these. And I say train yard loosely because I think the game plan is eventually to have a map that will have a train yard. If we take a look at Hispanomonning's projections from, I don't know, this was released maybe about a year ago or something like that at this point, uh, you can see, of course, we have the lizard cranes up here. He's planning on doing three of these, but only one has been released so far. He's also got our standard containers, gray containers, tank containers, and flat rack containers. All of those are actually done, so we don't have to worry about those anymore. Trucks, well, he's released one truck. We are planning to see maybe in the future some different trucks with this, but as for now, we don't have any. And then, of course, we have a lot of the different container trailers. Uh, some of these are already out. Some of them he's planning on doing some wild and crazy stuff with. And, of course, you can see here, maps, locomotive diesel, container rail car. That's why I say you could do a railway or something like that. There's a lot of more stuff coming in the future, and this is exciting containers are crazy man all right so i've set up a couple scenarios we've got some uh canola all over here that we need to pick up we've got uh, a lot of flour <laughs> we've got a combine harvester that needs to be unloaded and over here we've got some logs that need to be picked up perfect and we've got a wonderful dj go him cell point we've also got some some red lights right here switchable color light set uh by the way do not sleep on that. It's so cool. So let's set up our scenarios for doing some of this stuff. Let's, you know, let's just do the most basic one, tipping. And it is going to be this guy. We've got, I think it's like 14,000. Oh, we are throwing stuff is what we're doing. 14,400 liters in here. Okay, well, we need a tipper to be able to get this. So let's go in, find ourselves a tipper. We're going to want a grand container and we want something that's going to hold everything. We don't need anything too massive. So I think a 20 foot reel will work. However, we could do unrealistic capacities on pretty much all of these. So that works great. Uh, maybe I want the farming simulator logo and I don't need a cover, at least on this one. Main colors work fine for me, so we'll get one of those. And because we need a tipper, let's go with a tipping trailer. The other trailer works just fine, the tipping container trailer pack, but we'll go with one of these. I'm gonna go with container super B rear tipping. We only need one, so this will work perfectly fine. Container size, 20 foot. We need nothing more than that. So we purchased everything that we needed, minus one thing, a crane, and we, Definitely need one of these to be able to get it up there. However, you could do this with a wheel loader as well. Um, at least most all the containers that I've seen, and I'm pretty sure all of them, as a matter of fact, 
have these guys down here at the very bottom. You guys can use any wheel loader uh, log things and, uh, or log things, pallet forks, and load them up. But since we've got the container, we're going to use that. So let's hook up to our truck. We'll pull forward, we will hook up to the trailer. Uh, by the way, if you guys use these, the wheels match up almost perfectly, so it'll actually look like it's meant for it. Ah, the nice little detail. Hook up, boop, got it. And then we'll jump in here. This thing is super cool, but the good thing is we don't have to adjust anything. It starts at a 20 foot, you can also do 25, but uh, it, uh, it only works in increments of 10, so. Be ready for that. We'll go ahead and raise this up, push it forward a little bit, and drop it down. Should be just about right, though. There we go. That is on. We'll back it away, jump in our truck, and attach. So now we've got our tipper. All we got to do is just go get it. This is really fun because you could set a couple of these bins like to the side of the field. Let's say you and your buddies are playing, and uh, you don't have anybody running grain cart for you. Well, you could set a couple of these on the ground, and then simply... There we go. Uh, pull up to it on the side of the field. And when you pull up to the side of the field, you can dump it to the bin. You're good to go. Combine harvester's now empty, and we just take our truck and pull away. And you could take this because we've got a dump-type uh, trailer instead of just a stationary-type trailer. We can actually bring this here, and we will get our trigger to unload. We will click sell, and it will tip back for us. And there you go. That's... Uh, that's kind of it. It's pretty cool. Now that we've done bulk goods, let's do liquids next. So we want to jump in and find our tank containers. Here we go. We have our tank containers. The thing is, I don't remember how many of these I got. I think there's eight pallets on each side. So that should be 16,000 liters. We don't need a whole lot, but we may as well uh, show what you can do. So let's just go all the way up. This is a 45 foot high cube unreal. Well, I don't have a container trailer that'll move that. Uh, so let's do a 40 foot high cube unreal. That'll work. 40 foot versus 45. 230,000 liters. It's ridiculous. Uh, we can also change up colors. So why don't we change up one of the colors? There we go. We've got that. And now we need a trailer for this. Back into the Load King containers. Again, we don't need something massive, but we do need a big trailer here. So we're going to go with a 40 foot three axle non-tipping because we don't need it to tip and uh i don't remember what color i chose so we'll just choose tiffany blue gloss that that hurts my eyes let's let's just go back to black that'll work while we're at it why don't we use the lieber this thing is absolutely massive it is super cool absolutely terrifyingly large we're gonna pull this right over the container we're gonna try and get it centered up and then we are going to lower down bring that out i don't remember which button it is there we go and it should get to right where when it's perfect it will showcase that it can attach so that is nice then we'll just kind of drive forward and drop it off on this trailer this is i mean it's just fun there's a lot of things that add things to the game that may not be completely you know needed or something like that but i mean how cool is this uh, this is definitely one of those things where you don't need it <laughs> until you got it and now you can't imagine doing it without it there you go so we've got our tank container we're gonna go over here to our liquids now i don't remember if we need to unload or open anything or anything like that let's see so something a little bit unforeseen has happened i think the container's a little bit too high and i need to get it lowered down so i'm gonna utilize the same machine that got it onto the trailer Right about there, there we go. Pick it up. We'll drag that forward, get that out of the way. Uh, sometimes, you know, you have to <laughs> you record videos, but it doesn't quite do what you wanted it to do. Uh, for some reason, yeah, I'm not uh, not getting the trigger to auto load this stuff in there, which is a little bit painful. Could be because I've cheated these pallets in, which is a very, very good, uh, very, very good possibility. Um, also, maybe a way that I can go in here and double check to see if it's, uh, no, no, no. All those are pretty standard stuff through there. Well, the good thing is I know that they will hold the things. It just may not do it exactly the way that I tried to do it. So, nonetheless, it will hook up and it will run all your liquids. So we'll go ahead and get this drop back off. There we go. We'll get it hooked up. And we will take it over to the cell point once I can get out of here. 
I made a fool out of myself. Well, we'll come here. I know for a fact that the flower over there, that's going to be a little bit more difficult to auto load in. But we'll bring this here. And oil's not accepted here. Of course it isn't. Moving on. This was this was a bad way to showcase this. For the next setup, we are going to pick up some flour. And I've decided to use, well, a setup that I've already got out. We are going to load up with this. Now, there is one thing about this one specifically. If we go in, make sure that you have 30 foot or whatever you're using auto load turned on. For us, we're actually going to go with the uh, auto load unreal capacity, which is going to be epic. Yeah, we'll bring this around. I've got some stuff here ready to go. Of course, I hit that. Uh, and all you got to do is just drive beside it and it will auto load stuff for you. Now, one thing to note about this, and I've just learned this, uh, you can't use any of the handlers to pick up this stuff. So it just, it just ain't going to work. So let's see if we can move some of this stuff around or, or DJ sit here, just crash it into stuff like a, a absolute noob. You can also just use the uh, back doors being open like this to be able to see in and that may make it a little bit easier for you. So we'll swing this around. We'll see how close we can get to this pile right here. Yeah, that's gonna be perfect. Absolutely perfect. And now we've got, uh, was that 3,300 liters? It's pretty good, it's pretty good. We'll bring it over here and we'll see if it will sell for us or if we've got to do anything. Yeah, start overloaded flour. Wabam! 68,929. Almost. And by the way, uh, you can use this as well for the oils. For example, we're over here and uh, it is loading them up like it ain't nobody's business. So, does it work? Absolutely. I also wonder if we're, because we're using this trailer now, if we can... Yeah. I don't know what just happened with that other trailer, but that... Yeah. Oh well, is what it is. Now we've got one more scenario. Over here we have eight meter long spruce trees. We need to figure out how to sell these. Well, the container mods can help with that as well. What we need here is a flat rack and I've already done a little bit of math and we need a 30 foot. Now I think I'm gonna go with the 30 foot wood extension. I wonder if they have a high cube with wood extension. Yes, they do. So that is exactly what we are gonna go with. I'm gonna go with no logos on here and we need a trailer. So we've got this. Let's go ahead and use the trailer that we had for this. So there's a couple different things that we need to do. We'll go ahead and turn that on. We'll run over here to our lizard cranes and we will get it off of there. We'll go ahead and start this up. We do need to expand it. So uh, let's go ahead and open that up to 30 feet. Fortunately for us, we don't need it to be 40 feet. We move that out of the way. And you can see I've got a loading or a wheel loader over there. Oh boy. That's not good. Uh, we've got a wheel loader over there. That wheel loader is going to help us out. And I'm going to show you how you can use that. So it's not hooking up, which tells me I probably forgot to unhook it or. Yep. Yeah, it was me. I forgot to unhook it. You can also lock it on there if you really want to. Uh, so it prevents things from. Uh, falling off. I'll actually show you how to do that here in just a moment. We're going to take that and drop it off on the ground. Now let's get our wheel loader. I'm just using a Volvo one from the uh, Platinum DLC and we're going to lower this down, bring it in. We've got a couple places down there at the bottom. Now you do have to be just right. So make sure you're just right. Uh, weight is really not an issue with this. So all you really got to do is just not drive like me. Can you imagine Volvo inviting me over to Sweden to drive one of these in real life? Oh, uh, it, uh, it was fun. I had a great time. <laughs> and then we back away slowly, quickly, quickly, quickly. We'll take this, go ahead and attach, and we can go ahead, watch these little locks here at the bottom. We can actually lock it on now. So, oh, it still detaches. Well, you win some and you lose some, right? <laughs> we'll bring this over. Unfortunately, you can't auto load logs or anything like that. It's just not a thing that can happen, but we can load these up and I'm gonna use magic to do that. Magic, totally didn't use uh, <laughs> Superman power. So we'll grab this, we'll strap them down. Of course, you could use this with bells, pallets, uh, logs, as you've seen right here, pretty much all of that stuff and you're good to go. Um, this also has auto load too. So if you want to use this instead of a regular container, you can use that for auto loading your products. It works perfectly fine. We'll bring this here, put it right there, find our wood cell point. There it is. And boop, 
14 grand, baby. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can use container mods. They're a lot of fun, and it changes the game a little bit. And, and I highly encourage you guys to jump in. Check them out. See how you like to run containers. Maybe it's a liquid container that still has canola oil in it for some reason. Maybe it's for logging operations. Maybe, just maybe, you just want to run some super bees and run around. Or maybe you just want to be a crane operator. You can do that all day, every day, no problem. And with that, that is the end of today's video. I just kind of wanted to show my love for these container mods, show the modders some support, and maybe show you guys something that you could be missing. Hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like on it. If you did, get subscribed. If you're new and join the Go Ham fam, double check those notification bells. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. I'll be said. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you later.